and welcome to the craft time for today. I do hope you're enjoying our holiday club this year and are making lots of lovely crafts. Now today's story was about David and Jonathan and about their friendship. Now friends are really important, aren't they? And um, as the story said, it's really important that you choose your friends well. But when you have some good friends, it's really nice sometimes to do something for them. So there is a video um, on how to make a friendship bracelet. Now many of you may know how to do this already and have already made bracelets that you give to your friends. But if you don't, then there is a video which my friend Libby made to show us how to make a friendship bracelet. So if you want to make one of those so that you can give it to a particular friend, um, you'll find that, that uh, video alongside this one. Um, and I'm going to show you how to make a friend mobile. So this is so that you can uh, use it to help you thank God for your friends. And you can put pictures of your friends on, so that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to show you how to make this. It's really simple. You need two pieces of card or you can have just just one if you if that's all you've got so I've got two different colored pieces of card I've got a green one and I've got a white one okay and on the green one I've drawn out you can see there two strips um, I think they're about three centimeters uh, deep and it goes the long way on your piece of A4 card um, you just need to cut them out and those are going to make this top piece here so when you've cut them out, if you want to stick them together with some sellotape, see I've put some sellotape on there. And while it's flat, you need to write on it. Now I've put on it, thank you God for my friends. And um, because that, I thought you could help me to pray for them. And you can hang it up in your room somewhere. It does also look like a hat, but I don't recommend wearing it. I mean, I suppose you could do. But we're going to hang them up. Okay, so the first job, once you've done that, is then to uh, sellotape the other side together so that you get a circle like this. Okay, then on your white piece of card or whatever colour you have, you need to draw some circles. It doesn't matter how many, it's as many as the sort of friends you want to put on there. I've used my cup again to draw around, really easy to make a really good circle. Cut them out and you're left with some blank circles. Then all you have to do is decorate them. Now I've got one here um, that I started, so I've done a little pattern around the edge, front and back. Oh, this is the front, and this has got a picture of my friend Marilyn on it, uh, and a little picture of her. It's not a very good picture of her, <laughs> but it does remind me of her. Okay, and then on the back, at the moment mine is blank, but on some of the others, so for this one with my friend Liz, I've written some things that about her on it. So I put that she's kind, thoughtful, happy, and a good listener on it. And those are all things that I like about her and so I've put them on that. So when you've colored them all in, the next step is to get some thread. So just some dressmaking thread, you can have it whatever colour you like. I've used different colours in all mine, so this is a red one here, and an orange one, and a yellow one. And this one is blue. Okay, and you need a needle, so you might need a, an adult to help you thread your needle to get it all ready. And once you've coloured in your circle, you've decorated it, you've put the name on it, all you need to do Get the needle again, get an adult to help you because it can be a bit tricky and you just push the needle through the card like that. Now pull it through but you don't want to let both threads go through so hold, hold one on one side and just keep pulling until it comes off the needle and gather it together. This is a bit difficult to see but I've got both ends there and I'm just going to keep them together and I'm going to make a knot. Wrap it round your finger, take the loop off your finger and then you put, you put the other loop inside and pull it through. An adult will be able to help you to do that if you find it a bit tricky. Then all I've done is use some sellotape to attach them on the inside like that. 
uh, over the knot and then just hang it on. And then when you've got this far, you could you just need to put some thread across the middle and you can find somewhere to hang it up. You could perhaps blue tack it onto something. You could make it quite long, perhaps put a knot in it if you wanted two pieces together to help hold it up a bit better and hang it up uh, in your house somewhere to remind you to pray for your friends. So I hope you enjoy doing that and uh, have fun thinking about all the things that your friends are like. And I hope you have a go at making the friendship bracelet too. Okay, cheerio.